Hello, great search brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. Thanks to DigiKey every single week. Lady user power of engineering to help you. Yes, you find the things you need on DigiKey.com. Lady Ada, what are you looking for on DigiKey.com this week? Okay, so, sorry, you saw that my notes um, behind the scenes. Uh, so I, I take notes before the videos. Um, so uh, this week, uh, well, first off, I want to uh, point out that the DigiWish 2023 is running right now. Uh, you can get free stuff. I can't get free stuff. I'm not eligible the biggest tra tra tragedy of doing stuff with DigiKey, but that's okay. Um, you can get stuff for free. All you have to do is post with the hashtag DigiWish on a variety of social networks. Um, you can do one entry per day, and the thing you have to request is $100 or less. I have a lot of Adafruit stuff that's stocked that's 100 bucks or less. I get like a PPK. I saw some people looking for wire strippers. Um, pick something that's like, you know, $80, $90 range and uh, post up and they pick one person every day uh, to give free stuff. And they've been doing this for a very long time. This is actually one of the oldest uh, social media um, events that Digi Key has done. So um, I've never won again because I'm not eligible, but I know people who have, and it's a joy to get something for free. So check that out. Um, so this week, um, I saw we, we got a request for um, somebody who was using a Raspberry Pi and they were using the Raspberry Pi 5 to do like continuous data logging and video. And they're like, well, what micro SD card should I use um, to make sure that I don't have um, failures in the field, especially if you're using it for industrial purposes, you're going to have this Raspberry Pi outdoors or it's like, you know, part of a mobile or seafaring data logging system. The most um, delicate part of the Raspberry Pi is definitely the micro SD card. You want to make sure that's well specced. And um, they said, can I just get like a, you know, micro SD card from, you know, online, whatever, e-tailer? And I said, well, if you do that, you're going to, you know, they're inexpensive, but they're not designed for industrial use. They don't have guarantees for um, how often you can write to them. Can you write to them continuously for a very long time and how many years and uh, temperature gradient. Also, I found a couple other kind of funky things that you can get with micro SD cards if you get them um, like industrial style. So let's go to memory cards. Just click on memory cards. Um, so let's just only look at active because, you know, just minimize the number of options to search for. Um, so like I said, um, DigiKey stocks a whole bunch of SD cards. They're not going to be like the inexpensive, like two bucks a piece. Hey, you know, this is just something you pop in your um, GPS or your camera and just to, or, you know, your phone or whatever, just to get a little bit more storage. Um, these are definitely going to be for industrial uses with single board computers. And so they're going to be more expensive, but they're going to have more guarantees and a wider temperature range. So the first thing to watch uh, to check for is what class you want. So the class is basically how fast you can write and read from um, the micro SD card. You know, you can check Wikipedia for a full document of every class setting, but basically the higher the number, the better the class. And once you get to class 10, there's like subclasses. So class three is going to be the fastest. I think it's about hundred megabit per second read and write. Um, and if you're doing, you know, video or AI, data reading you want to like buffer to you know you're not using ram for your buffering you're buffering stuff to disk somehow um you should definitely get class three which is also going to be called u3 class 10 uhs3 u3 so it's gonna be the fastest and oh wow you can get like one terabyte for real Jeez, that's expensive but you want a one and a half terabyte guaranteed class 10 u3 sd card that's cool anyways you can you can order them um but we're not gonna get a one terabyte we're gonna get you know uh 8 16 or 32. so let's look for that okay so there's a couple um options available a couple of vendors each vendor is going to have their own thing so first up let's let's just do normally stocking okay so all these are going to be micro sd because that's kind of what you're going to get um, I did notice a couple cool um, features. So ATP, um, they had a guarantee of five years or two years with um, also, a, you know, documented 
reliability for insertions and also mean time to failure. Um, they also guarantee their uh, sequential reads and writes, which is kind of nice. Of course, if it's not sequential, if you're like jumping around, um, it won't be the same. And there's also ones that are, so you can see all the different options and there's a slightly less, slightly lower warranty, three years, not five years. There's also, let's see, was it A-Pacer? I saw one that had, Silicon power. It had a uh, guarantee for um, if you had power lossage, it would like actually um, be able to recover from it. Um, but even like things like, you know, the amount of current draw, like that's actually unusual, like for low cost um, micro SD cards, you're not going to have guarantees for that. Guaranteed uh, humidity, guaranteed operating temperature. Um, they have ones that go, you know, negative 40 to 85. So these are good for outdoor use cases. And I'm trying to think what else. Yeah, some of these have like guaranteed for random reads and writes and bus mode. Oh yeah, power failure management, which I thought was kind of neat. So, um, you know, some of them have um, extra error correction, power failure management, um, guaranteed that not only will they do wear leveling because all micro SDs do wear leveling, but they will do like even wear leveling and they'll make sure that like you don't reuse the same area multiple times. So you have um, the longest lasting for, you know, especially if you're using something like a um, single board computer and you're logging a lot of data and the logs get cycled, um, you're going to be writing to the, the micro SD card constantly. So a lot of a lot of options. I mean, you'll want to check, you know, what is the um, the size that you want. But you know, even something like this one, um, UH three class, uh, sorry, UHS class three. And if you need, actually, let's go look at a temperature range for for select one. So let's maybe pick one that does, you know, that full negative forty. And then, um, yeah, this one, for example. 500 in stock and also some of them I noticed they will guarantee supply so if you register with them they will tell you if they discontinue the card and give you a last time buy so if you expect a card for your use case and you're like okay I, I don't want to go and respect other cards um, they guarantee that you'll be able to supply you for at least like a year past the end of life date so um, check out some micro SD cards for industrial use. Again, not you wouldn't get this for your switch. You'd get this for a single board computer or something that's outside or doing data logging. You're sending it to space. Um, these are some good options. That's my great search. Where